And now in speed, because our first to get us underway is Scott Brash. And uh, Ursula is the very first to go. He's been in this position before many, many times, and even in this arena to go and grab a win. Can he do it once again from the front? He's got the likes of Christian Almond behind him that are going to really put the pressure on, but he's not a man to shake in his boots. He is one to take the pressure and dish it out. So... Britain, Lee, uh, Britain will go first, Spain to go second, Germany third, Turkey. Scott Brash to lead things off. Lady Harris and Lady Kirkham's Ursula. Big swinging jump off, plenty of turns right. We go to the torch fence first, straight down, well, a little on the angle actually to the right. Ooh, a little touch there in front. Now locked on. A new fence, of course, to a little plank back up to the top end of the arena gives him a chance to just up the pace around there to uh, this big vertical across the center to the double big fences there's only so much they can open up the speed on and still keep the height back to our final two certainly not bad so far scott brash one more to go with ursula Push it up, locomotion to the last, oh, and yeah. through the finish, 45-21, will it be enough? We're going to have to wait and see, but Scott Brash puts in a good round, could leave him well. Whatever happens, it'll leave him well in the money. I'm very doubtful it will leave him in fourth spot, but it's uh, a good round to start off with for Scott and Ursula. Will it be enough? We'll have to wait and see. Christian Alba will have been watching that closely. Then La Cordon will have been uh, sitting on the sidelines down at the I'm stood next to the, one of the greatest riders in the sport of show jumping. Last year he won the Rolex Grand Slam and now you've just won the CHI Al Shakab Grand Prix. What does this mean to you, Scott? Yeah, well, it's a uh, uh, top Grand Prix. Uh, all the riders are here. So, yeah, it was a uh, tough jump in today. Uh, three big rounds. And uh, yeah, Ursula jumped amazing, so I'm, I'm delighted with the win. And we all want to know, how are you going to spend the money? <laughs> it gets spent in this sport just as easy as we win it, I can assure you that. What, what do you spend it on, horses? Yeah, yeah, it costs a lot to keep this job on, on the roads, you know. We have, uh, we have horses flying around the continent every week, so uh, yeah, it's a big operation we run. And where are you off to next? Uh, we go to Sir Togenbosch next week in Holland, and then... Uh, Paris the week after, so yeah, we've, it's a busy schedule. Aside from Ursula, this fantastic horse, what other young horses have you got coming through that we should look out for? Yeah, I've got three very good eight-year-olds, actually. Uh, one my father bred, I think, is very good. Um, Hello, Mr. President, I think, is one to watch for the future, and Hello, Senator. So I have three eight-year-olds that uh, look good and uh, hopefully are, will be doing the top sport one day. Brilliant. Well, we hope to see you back here next year. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Good. Thanks. So Scott Brash there, our winner, down in the warm-up, you can see him giving Ursula a pat, and of course Ursula is a horse he knows inside out and upside down, they've had so much fun together, and that's the horse that he took to Spruce Meadows, I saw him there last September when he rode to victory in the CP yeah, yeah. Grand Prix, which is part of the Rolex Grand Slam 2012. And there he is, catching up with someone he knows very well, Frank Grono, the ringmaster, who again joins us from Great Britain. Frank and Scott have known each other since Scott was absolutely tiny. Just behind him there, Pilar, and then Ishia Cornan for Spain. But what a field, what a field we were treated to here this evening. It really has been a great night of sport. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. And perhaps why not make it a holiday and come out and join us at Al Shakab in 2018. This event in its fifth year now, and it does keep growing from strength to strength. Of course, as well as the sport, they've had entertainment here over the weekend. They've had uh, great hospitality, great food. And if you buy your entry ticket to come to Al Shakab, it automatically gets sent to a raffle. And I don't know if you saw on screen a little bit earlier, but they gave away a Mercedes to one lucky visitor. It's been a great atmosphere, though. And we get ready for the final prize-giving ceremony here at Al Shakab.
podium is out, the flowers and the trophies are ready. And we're going to be inviting forwards our top three to take their places on the podium. You can see the prize giving getting underway there. You can see the photographers are lined up. That'll be a great image as well, the top three in the Grand Prix. I have to say the audiences have got bigger and bigger every single year at this event. And Al Shikhan does so much work not only to host top sporting events but also to further education when it comes to horses. We've got an education centre here, we've got a veterinary centre. But there's our third place rider taking her place on the podium here this evening. Representing Spain, Pilar de Sia A faster time and an unlucky rail. Then we head to the man who was last to go, the man that you saw the pictures of just how happy he was. Omar Caravelli for Turkey and then stepping up, centre podium for Great Britain, Scott Brash crowned our winner as the only travel Creo here this evening. So with them assembled on the podium, we get ready for those official photographs and then of course we'll be saluting our winner by playing the national anthem. We get a new time, that one looks dirty. Scott Rash, what a great athlete. And here it comes, the national anthem of Great Britain. sure that's a horse you will see back up jumping internationally once again very very soon also congratulating the man who finished in second Omar Caravelli for Turkey Russell Akrozina he's a man that's been around a number of years he's represented his country at the highest level and he's still a great ambassador for Turkish show jumping. Show jumping in Turkey really is starting to grow. And it is because of athletes like him that can go out and represent his country. But then we head down into third place to Spain. Palabra Sia Cardan finished in third. A great time, a fantastic effort with just one rail coming down. So huge congratulations to our top three stepping into the middle, of course, for those final official photographs here. And it is all about building history at these events, isn't it? Because, you know, for the last five years, it has been their aim here to build a top-class international sporting event right in the heart of Doha. And as you drive out of the showgrounds and drive towards the city centre here, there's so much development with new houses, new offices, it almost feels like a bit of a new Dubai. Well, lots of organisation in there. They're getting them all back onto the podium. Getting yet more pictures. But you know, this is an event that is 
Let's just keep playing. Grow and grow and grow. So it looks like those pictures are complete. Lots of members of the media waiting to grab our top three, no doubt. They run to jump back on their horses because they have one final duty to perform as the crowd await to give their applause to our top three. They're going to be heading on their victory gallop on that lap of honour here for the final time this weekend at CHI Al Shikab. And of course, don't forget, this isn't the only equestrian event held here. They have the final of the Longines Global Champions Tour, but also other international tournaments throughout the year. What a facility it is, and what a rider this man is. Scott Brash, then, he goes off on his lap of honour, crowned our winner with Ursula. Taking second for Turkey and Pilar with a seal pattern, finishing in third for Spain. He really is Mr. Cool, isn't he? You never see him tense, you never see him stressed. And he gets one final gallop all on his own. Yes, another Grand Prix win goes to the CD of Ursula. few days as the grandstands and hospitality start to enter we begin to look ahead towards CHI Al Shikab 2018 it'll be back the multi-discipline event that brings you five-star dressage five-star show jumping and the very best parrot dressage all under one roof We hope you've enjoyed this weekend's sports as much as we have. And as we bring the event down to a close, we hope to see you back here at Al Shikab very, very soon. But from all the team here, wherever you're watching around the world, enjoy the rest of your day or the rest of your evening, and we'll see you again very, very soon.